Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. We have another Mark V on the channel today, but this is no regular GTR. This is of course the Edition 30, the car that celebrated 30 years of the Golf GTI. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to be able to have one of these on the channel, but this one is running a stage two software running 320 brake. It'll be interesting to see how this compares to some of the other GTIs which are featured on the channel lately, and also my one, which is sat just over there. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting video today, experiencing the Edition 30 for the very first time. So let's have a little walk around, introduce you to the owner, and then we'll go out for a quick drive. Okay, so we're joined now by Tom, the owner of the car. Thank you for, for coming along today. You're welcome. So, this car is actually fairly new to you, I think, isn't it? You haven't had it too long. Yeah, I've had it about four weeks. Okay, fairly, well, about the same as me with the, with the GTI, actually, with time yeah. recording yeah. this. Edition 30. So, yeah. when you were looking at a Mark V, I, mean, I suppose the Edition 30 was the only option, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's just... Uh, a different breed to the normal Mark V yeah. GTIs. It's basically the car which I should have bought, really. Just rarer, yeah. faster, quicker. <laughs> yeah, I would have said so. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, well, it looks awesome, actually. It looks really, really clean. So, like I said in the intro, running a stage two pack or package, uh, 320 brake. Yeah. 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 That's not yeah. bad. Not bad at all. We've got a Ram Air here. I, it, literally, every single Mark V that I film seems to have a Ram Air. So, I think I need to invest in one of them for mine. Um, do you know what else has been done to it? Presumably quite a bit. Yeah, so it's had a high pressure fuel pump done to it. Uh, it's got the, uh, the R8 pull packs. Yep. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much standard. Yeah. Um, they don't ask for too much when it comes to stage two. Mm. Um, so really high pressure fuel pump, R8 cool pack, uh, induction kit. Uh, it's got an alloy radiator yep. uh, that's just tucked behind the grill. Yep. Um, but other than that, and then the BCS exhaust. Okay, is that just straight through right from the, from the uh, turbo? No, it's got um, a valve valve in it, so obviously mm. when you put your foot down, it opens up and Oh, that's decent, it okay. Brilliant, yeah. so yeah, well, yeah, like you said, not, not really much needs doing for the Stage 2. It's only the Stage 2 Plus when things get a little yeah. bit more expensive. Yeah. It's sitting nice as well. What's it yeah, sat in on the springs from, wise? Uh, 30 mil lowering springs, uh, H and R yep. lowering springs. The uh, brake, which is a Audi S3 big brake kit. Oh, wicked! Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, and they Ooh. they can stop really. really yeah, do they? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to get used to how well they stop. Obviously, I'm normally on like four pot brakes. Yeah, and they're. These are just ridiculous. <laughs> are you running any spaces on it, or is that just? Uh, no, they're just standard. Oh, wicked. It sits really nicely, actually. Really nicely. It is such a good looking car, what you're saying off camera. Yeah, yeah, well, the, it's credit to the, uh, the last owners, really. They yeah. looked after it really, really well. Yeah, no, it is um, absolutely I've just got to carry on maintaining <laughs> the look of it. <laughs> You've got a fair few plans for it as well, right? Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'd, I'd like to do the R32 rear bumper yep. uh, and exhaust um, mm -hmm. air suspension as well. Yeah. And then a couple of little things. So I'd like to wrap it in a different colour, obviously, okay. to keep the paintwork a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, if I come to sell it eventually, the paintwork's still nice yeah. and tidy underneath. No, it is. It's absolutely mint. Absolutely mint. Let's have a little look inside as well. Got the good old tartan seats, manual gearbox. Wicked. Awesome. Well, like I said in the intro, it'll be interesting to see how this kind of compares to the standard. Have you ever experienced a standard? GTI. Uh, yeah, I've got a friend, or a couple of friends that yeah. have got Mark V GTIs. Okay, so now you're, you're just better than all of them now. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair to say, that's a bit of stick, but um, I would have said so. If I can get the power down on a dry day. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah true. I'd, true. Yeah, I'll probably a lot faster than Well, then. speaking of that, actually, I think we should uh, fire up and see if we can get that power down, because yeah. it is 
well, very greasy today. <laughs> we still got front wheel drive. Definitely. Wicked. Let's start up and uh, yeah, go for a quick drive. Yeah, <laughs> on yeah. the old grip side. Absolutely. <laughs> you can feel the wheels just struggling. Yeah. <laughs> oh mate, it goes. It definitely yeah, it's goes. Just yeah. Well, this is a massive amount of power more than what it is standard. It's a 230 standard, yeah. which is 30 more than the original yeah. Mark 5. And this is running 320, yeah. so pretty much 100 over. Yeah, yeah. So it is. It's properly. It's properly stretching it. Yeah. But then, like this, this is nothing compared to what others have True. got. I've, yeah. So this KO4 is good to 380. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you get, you get your hybrid turbo mm -hmm. uh, for a stage um, two plus. No, so stage three. Stage sorry. Three, yeah. And then that takes you to like 480. Yeah. And I've seen other people that have got ridiculous, even more than that. And I think yeah, that's... there's some that are in the fives. Yeah, which is yeah. absolutely mental. And I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to go in one mm. to see how they get the power down. I know, <laughs> I know, it's all about how good you are at driving and whether you can feather in the, the throttle. Mm. But yes, no, I, I can't see how it can get the power down. Yeah. And it, it can be enjoyable because to me it would be scary. Yeah, I mean, there's that sweet spot of power, I guess, in there where it's a bit leery, but it's still drivable. Yeah, and I think I think this is this is plenty. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely plenty, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds yeah. awesome as well. I know. So sorry, remind us of the exhaust quick? Uh, it's a BCS uh, valve exhaust. Okay. Oh yeah, the valve, yeah. Yeah, so um, it's, it's what Artec um, kind of recommend okay. as yeah. the best exhaust for the car. Mm -hmm. Another um, Artec yeah. tuned car on the channel. Another Artec tuned Literally car. Literally every yeah. GTI. <laughs> Anything TFSI is yeah. probably going to be Artec. You can put your money on it. Yeah, definitely. Because they know what they're doing. That's it, yeah, that's it. It suits these kind of roads though. Yeah, of course. It's a B roll hunter, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I'm very jealous of you know. your manual as well. <laughs> yeah. See, some people like the DSG. Yeah. But no offense to people that drive DSG, I just don't, I can't see it being a driver's. It's, it's um, not. It, you, you, you have, the, the computer does the work. Yeah, it's, it's, there's all the fun in just shifting the gears yourself in a car like this, of which course. is why I was so adamant that I wanted a manual but I actually yeah well yeah I went DSG <laughs> <laughs> annoyingly they're so common DSGs, they are yeah they like, are. for the price of them uh, some people say that the DSG is cheaper but some people say the DSG is more expensive mm. but yeah. for me DSG is just you kind of just sit back and let it do the work yeah I didn't want that yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you've got a fair amount of plans for the car. Yeah. You reckon going more than stage two, stage two plus maybe? Um, before today, yeah, I wanted more, but I've not actually taken it out on B roads yet. Ah, okay. So this um, is the first time. So this is the first time on B roads. Yeah. And uh, I don't think it needs it at the moment because yeah. I was kind of getting used to the power going yeah. down like a dual carriageway or 
pulling up to a lights and there'd be someone next to me like a an S3 or an or a standard R32. Yeah. Um, standard Golf R, sorry. Yeah. Um, they're running similar power, so I can keep with them and I start pulling on them in later gears. Oh, okay. Because uh, I think a That's Mark Six R or yeah. no, a Mark Seven R is 300 brake. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, where well, this is 320. That's true, actually. It starts to pull on it a little bit. Yeah. But obviously, off the line. It's obviously, four-wheel drive. Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. actually. Yeah. I never thought of that, actually. That would be an interesting race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the brakes are good as well. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so that's just on the front, right? Yeah, back just on the front yeah. and then the standard on the back. Yeah. You don't really need too much on the back. Yeah, yeah. Now, like we were saying on the walk around, I mean, this car is absolutely mint. I mean, in here, it's like it's like new. Now, all these dash bits, they normally um, like yeah, scratch off. Scratches, yeah. Mine has done it. That's like new. Yeah, yeah. It's um, uh, the, the, like I said earlier, it's credit to the. Um, to the last owners mm. keeping keeping it in really good condition. Yeah. I mean, normally you get a car of this age and it's scratched to pieces. Yeah. The back seats have probably had kids in it that yeah. have spilt stuff and yeah, well this has this been is, looked yeah. after and this, this is like, like new really. I'm very jealous. <laughs> yeah. I had to I had to travel a little way. Yeah get this it took us about three or four hours to get there nice. uh, and it worth was all it. country roads as well which yeah was horrible yeah. Um, but it was definitely worth it yeah definitely. definitely I mean the edition 30 did always kind of it was all I always knew about it but I just for some reason just never really gave it some proper thought as to actually go in and pulling the trigger on one yeah it goes under the radar it does almost yeah because yeah. it is a, it's a rare car really very rare. yeah well I was saying earlier to you that they made uh, 2,500 of them. Mm. And this is one of the later ones, I think you've said it was. Yeah, 2,120, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so good. <laughs> you got that intake up front, and then actually a really nice tone of the exhaust. Like yeah. It's not droning at all, but it's. No. So, like, when I'm driving normally, so mm. if I'm just driving to work, um, I could just drive it like any other person on the road and no one would know that it's got the power that it has. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can even go as far as changing the map on the pedals. So oh, it's yes. got switchable maps. Yeah, yeah. So if I was really trying to save my money on fuel and stuff, I could mm. just set it back to standard power. Yeah. So this um, is in like the high boost map. Yeah, actually. this is in high boost. Oh, I got a bit of dry road there. <laughs> yeah, that goes. That little bit of dry road. <laughs> yeah, I spotted that from a mile away. <laughs> Is it all stop clutch and everything as well? Yeah, all Is stop it? clutch. Okay. Yeah, it's had go. a new clutch. Yeah, okay. Um, but it's a stop clutch. I need to change the flywheel because it's making yep. a little bit of a, mm -hmm. a chatter. Yeah. Um, so I will probably will uh, upgrade this uh, clutch as well whilst I'm yeah. at it. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose then, by that way, it's ready for when you go for power yeah. if you do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I've got um, a friend that I go to to, uh, to do all my work. Mm. Um, and he's always, I kind of, I'm one of those people, like we were saying earlier, that sit back and allow him to do all the work and yeah. tell me what's good and what's not. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I don't think I trust good. myself to work on my own cars too much. No. Otherwise, bits will start falling off of it. <laughs> ah, the power's just there. E even it's back cool. on the greasy roads as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely love it. Anyway, buddy, I think that's uh, going to wrap things up from us today. Yeah, um, awesome fun. First thank time you. in addition to no, thank you. It's been uh, it's been great to to finally go out one of these things, having well experienced so many other Mark Fives lately. Not one of them has been an edition 30 until now, so yeah, it's been awesome. Of course, I will leave your Instagram link down in the description down below. Follow, uh, follow well, the build really, because I know you've got a lot of plans for it. Yeah, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see what it, what it looks like. But yeah, like I said, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Until we come.